Glasgow, just a few miles down the road, Motherwell, of course, bordering the reserve. So lots of people come down the reserve because it's really easy to access by bus, by train, by car, just by walking. By doing this work, we're creating new habitat right next to the highs, which gives people to see the birds up close and get a real better nature experience of, of Barazor. We're allowing the river to use its floodplain, allowing those natural processes to re-establish themselves and making a, a sustainable reserve to manage in the future. Well, we're looking to re-naturalise the connection between the River Clyde and the wetland that we have in the reserve here. For many years, the river has been eroding away at the artificial bank that we've got here, and it's making it basically impossible to manage. So we're kind of working with the river to let it come into the wetland, and more importantly, when the water floods in the wetland, to let the water back out again as well. We've um, designed a, a 50 metre breach in this artificial bond which we're at the moment we're digging out um, bringing, bringing the bond down to height just above the river level which means that the water can then escape when it is um, in the wetland. So from my perspective, it's much better to understand what the river is doing, understand how it's changing and work with that. So by breaching the bond, we're allowing the river to use its floodplain, allowing those natural processes to re-establish themselves and making a, a sustainable reserve to manage in the future. a 50 metre wide um, breach in the bond which is completely changing how the wetland and the river function together. In essence we have dug a big hole, a 50 metre wide hole in the, in the bond but what that means is that when the river floods it's now able to enter the wetland and flood into the wetland and when the water goes down the water is able to leave the wetland as well. So our wetland at Barons Haw is now acting once again as a floodplain. Three or four hundred years ago, it used to be the floodplain of the River Clyde that was then bonded up to stop it flooding in there. We've now opened it back up again. So we have, in essence, re-naturalised the river system of the Clyde at Barons Hall. work to create new open water pools and new bonds and things like that. The, the idea being that we can hold the water in this part of the wetland to create more habitat for the kind of birds that we're looking for, the waders and the ducks that love Barrens Haw and use it as, as their home basically. Barrens Haw is not a completely natural site at all. It's been influenced by humans for centuries. Um, it has been in the past for agriculture, they've been managed for hunting. Right now what we're doing though is managing it for nature. So by doing this work, creating deeper pool areas, creating these bonds, we are doing what's been done here over centuries but doing it focused on creating the kind of habitat and the kind of wetlands that we want for the, the wildlife that uses Barrens Hall.
The kind of whole idea of what we're doing here is actually move the birds closer to the places where people watch the birds. So the two hides we have around here, quite often the birds would spend a lot of the time quite far away, a few hundred metres from those hides. By doing this work, we're creating new habitat right next to the hides, which gives people to see the birds up close and get a real better nature experience of, of Barazaw. thousands of people living right around Barons Hall. So by these people having the easy access, providing them with fantastic views up close of nature, it creates a real benefit, gets people engaged in the wildlife of the area, gets people excited about it, and gets people wanting to protect it, which is really what we're trying to do. Natural habitats are always changing um, as part of what they do. So as a conservation charity, trying to halt those changes and stop things changing is always going to be very difficult and it's not always going to create the outcomes that we want. Whereas if we work with nature, understand that things change and understand how, how we can change the management along with those changes, it makes a much more sustainable way of managing wildlife and I think gives us a, a better future for wildlife conservation.